Highland is an amazing 500 plus acre part of the William Mary campus that most people don't really know that much about because it's two hours away. The project that we did last summer was to uh, put three undergraduate students onto basically a consultancy type of research project where they asked the question, how can we make Highland an integral part of the William Mary campus? How can the faculty and students benefit from all that Highland has to offer in terms of integrative conservation, historical research, geological research, agricultural research, sustainability, everything that can possibly uh, be learned out there. It just isn't being maximized right now. We were basically tasked with developing a proposal to expand student opportunities at Highland um, to really help forge the link between our main campus and our student body and our Highland campus, which very few students and even faculty and staff are aware of. I mainly am, have been working on the projects that are going on related to sustainability and conservation, so for me I know I can say I wouldn't have the chance to just go learn about stream buffer repairs in like a normal class. That would just be kind of something you you read about, you know what it is, but you don't see how it's done. You don't watch them take the invasive species out of the ground. It's important that William and Mary considers Highland a way to take a historical property that's so important, but also make it helpful and to give back to communities in a very purposeful way, the complete opposite of what it was doing 300 years ago. Very few people realize that Highland is, is, is the premier place, one of the premier places in the country where the descendants of the enslaved people are actually have a voice in what goes on there. There's, a, there's an advisory council that is integral to the managing of Highland. Integrative conservation is the idea that we, can, we have to consider the human beings along as a major part of this picture and we have to consider social and environmental justice while we're also conserving biodiversity or the conservation approaches just aren't sustainable. It's not your you know, stereotypical plantation museum that is only telling this narrative about Monroe and about the rich white dude. There's just a lot of opportunities to really apply skills and so that's what we're hoping to highlight in this proposal is that number one Highland Rocks and Highland somewhere that's really cool and if we invest in it a lot there's like this many things we could hope to achieve. I would say that this is a chance for Lemonmere to be significant. I could not see a university owned property that was doing something similar to what we're doing. I think that we live in a country whose past is very brutal but who has also had a history of continuing progress and those things don't need to cancel out at all. It's really important that, you know, as we're investing in this property this time, we get it right. At William & Mary of all places, you learn that you really can't let the, you can't let history define you.